COVID cases have been dropping across the country, but there is growing concern that the mutating virus could cause a new surge of cases faster than the country can distribute vaccines. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook joins us now. Dr. LaPook, the CDC says about 40 million doses have been distributed, but as you know, roughly 20 million have actually gotten into people's arms. That is a huge discrepancy. Why is that gap so big? You know, part of the problem may be actually inefficiency, getting the vaccines into people's arms, but part of it may be that the database data is not correct right now. I spoke to Marcus Plesha, who's the chief medical officer for a national organization that represents state health officials, and he said that a lot of the IT systems are from the 1980s. And so there may be a huge lag between when the shot is given and when it actually gets into a national database. He told me that in some cases, local health departments, people are actually faxing information from one place to another. Faxing information from local health departments. No wonder there are concerns that these numbers could be outdated. So what are you hearing from doctors in the trenches then? Well, it reflects what Marcus Plesha told me, which his membership said that the main problem is supply. It's, they said they don't need FEMA, they need more vaccine. And I spoke to Andrew Rubin, who's a senior administrator at NYU Langone Health, where I'm a professor of medicine. And he said right now they're giving about 1,000 shots a day, but that they could ramp up to 7,000 shots a day. They just don't have enough supply. So, Dr. LaPook, what can the Biden administration do to ensure that the supply is there? Well, you know, Andrew Rubin and others have told me that the number one thing or one of the top things that the Biden administration can do is to increase transparency. So right now, there are questions about where the vaccine is. How much of the vaccine is with the manufacturers? How much is with the government? And with the government, how much are they giving to the Department of Defense or to the VA? How much are they giving to the governors? And how much have the governors given to the various counties within the states? And to do that, we need to have more transparency. We need to have uh, a national database, kind of a dashboard, where people see where the vaccine is and where it isn't. And, you know, when you see where it isn't, you get it from where it is to, uh, to, to where it isn't. I mean, one of the things that Andrew Rubin told me that's just astounding is that today is Saturday. They're not going to find out till tomorrow how much vaccine they're going to have on Monday. So that's only going to give them a few hours to advise people, hey, you should come in the next day in order to get vaccine. It's got to be done a lot better, much more transparency. Dr. John LaPook, thank you.